now I will present my research again with the anaerobic digestion, but in this moment I will present about the anaerobic digestion of wood sector and sewage treatment plant waste to produce biogas. This, this research was done also with Ms. Varga, Mr. Rocha, Dan, Merlo and Fernandes. Uh, we know that uh, every year the population grows, so it leads increase in waste generation. So it's necessary to study the feasible and sustainable ways of final disposal of this waste. Nowadays, the change that we have is find economically viable and ecological safe ways to reuse the waste. Economic circular is a model that reintegrates a waste product into the production cycle. So, one of the technology roads is an aerobic digestion that can use in the circular economic model. An aerobic digestion transforms residues like livestock waste, crops, waste water, and food water into biogas that we can use uh, as high heat and electricity or transforming biomethane that can be used as food and gas grid and can be transforming and digestating with potential use as fertilized, organic fertilizer. The anaerobic digestion can be, uh, can be uh, used uh, as anaerobic, monodigestion or co-digestion. When you use co-digestion, it's, it's used uh, for more one substrate, two or more substrate. Switzerland represents one to two percent of the total volume of trade switch. It's managed is quite complex and requires high cost. Its process and fine disposal represent up to 16% of the operation of operating costs of a sweet treatment plant. And its final destination, it can be in land, landfills or some studies advise its application as an agricultural, fertilizer and civil construction. But when, if you use in an agriculture, uh, it's necessary uh, verify the heavy metal content. Wood waste, timber, is the versatility product, product and renewable natural research. But its improper extraction can lead to destruction of the environment and its extinction. According to Murara Jr. et al. 2030, uh, timber sector use only 50% of the material. According to Brazil National Solid Waste Policy, inappropriate disposal of the wood waste as considering environment, environmental crime. According to Eshu et al. 2013, combining technological changes, good operation practice, and recycled measures could re reduce wood waste by around 50%. So the objective of this work was evaluate the increase in the biogas production based on the anaerobic digestion of hydrolyzed wood and sewed sludge. The experiment also well, was also conducted at the Multi-Use Research Laboratory of Renewable Energy and Rural Alternative Group. The anaerobic biodigestive scale using the experiment was based on Indian model that consists a YouTube manometer with water as a manometer 
gasômetro that the biogas vo bio volume produced over 13 weeks uh, was calculated by vertical displacement of the gasome by its top area. The biogas volume was correct by combined gas law. Tourel fourth was fixed at the top of the gasometer but for monitoring the biogas temperature, pressure, and burn test. Monitoring of the ambient and biogas temperature was carried out with the thermocope, and burn test was performed using abusing burning. Anaerobic digestion chamber were supplied with 1.7 kg, kilograms of substrate at 100% 100% of hydrolyzed wood and 100% sweet slug as a mono anaerobic monodigestion and 75 25 feet feet and 25 70 hydrolyzed wood sweet slug ratio was used in a code anaerobic codigestion. Result. It can be uh, it can be observed that the temper temperature, ambient, and biogas is the same. It's not different. It's because it may be because the measuring being at the true revolve fixed at the top of the gasome without thermal isolation. In this graph, we can see that the uh, only that the only only substrate uh, on each on substrate uh, sweet slug uh, don't produce biogas. Okay, so only produce biogas seventy five and twenty five uh, hydrolyzed with a peak of one point one point one a uh, little per kilogram and 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 and, and 100 sweet and 100 sweet that the peak was 0 0.42 liters per kilogram uh, it can be observed too that biogas production started the first week for 100 percent sweet slug, and the third week for 70-25 uh, ratio ratio. Another ratio uh, the produce biogas uh, was after seven weeks. In this graph. Uh, for the 70, 25, 7, 75, 25, and 100 sewage, the stabilization between the organic and the microbial, microbial load present in the substrate occurred in the first four weeks. For the other weight, it, it was observed they didn't show consider, considerable biogas production. It can be concluded that 75-25 rate presented the highest potential for biogas production, provide the synergy between the codigester, the codigester. And this is important that it's eliminate to use the water. Right? And when you work with the biogas, it's necessary to put water and use hydrolyze, it's not necessary, but thank you everybody.